So, um, I'm Mathilde. Uh, I've been working with Wikimedia France for two years now. First as an intern, then apprenticeship, and uh, um, now I've, I'm working as a long-term project manager. Um, <clears throat> so, when I started, um, my uh, colleague Mathieu, who's in, at the back of the, of the room that m some of you might know, uh, he told me that like he he talked to me, he whispered to me the, the uh, an idea about a pedagogical game, and the uh, wikis uh, was invented, sort of. Um, you might ask yourself why we thought of such uh, tool. So I'm going to talk you through like uh, the creation of the game uh, that has that has uh, like. I'm gonna talk and uh, try not to bore you out for uh, like 20 minutes, and then we'll directly like try to to play together. Um, and prepare yourself psychologically. I'm gonna need 10 to 12 volunteers to play the game. So um, we came up uh, with this idea of, of a board game uh, after almost uh, eight years of, long, of conducting um, an education program uh, that was like uh, majorly around the Wiki Concours Lycéen. Uh, that was a, a competition between high schools about like writing the best article, like possible article. And it was organized by Wikimedia France uh, with the CLEMI, which is uh, the organization uh, that depends on um, the Ministry of Ed Education in France. And that's the organization working about media and information literacy. So really interesting uh, partnership. And uh, uh, long story short, um, the, the contest, this program was, um, it was launched 10 years ago now. And uh, it lasted for about like eight, uh, seven years, and it was every year. And uh, we decided to stop it after like seven interesting years, because um, <clears throat> in France uh, there has been a reform, a, a rule, like a change of program curriculum uh, that made really complicated uh, to organize this kind of uh, program in high schools. So after seven years of um, of this program, we learned uh, some that there was like major obstacles um, conducting this kind of program, uh, and like majorly, teachers were telling us that it was really uh, time time consuming uh, to organize this kind of program with their classes. Um, from uh, teacher uh, teacher training, uh, and then for them to explain to their class, <clears throat> to their students, how Wikipedia works, uh, how to create uh, uh, a user account, uh, to understand the wiki code and everything. It takes a lot of time, and teacher, teachers were telling us that they needed the help for that. Um, I've also been told that it was complicated for students to find a topic, stick to it, um, find the sources, understand like what is a reliable sources, source of information, and then uh, like to uh, actually uh, confront with, uh, with the, the editors on, on Wikipedia. Uh, so Autonomy was also another problem. Also, I, um, when I came, uh, when I arrived, I had to observe like classrooms, like you know, like around my master thesis, and it was striking to see that the students were like pretty much like were really uh, struggling with just staying in front of the computer, finding information, and then like uh, write an article. The other issue was skepticism because um, I had uh, I finished high school in 2014. I've always been told that it was like really forbidden to read Wikipedia in the classroom. 
to ha like to find sources of information on Wikipedia. And so it's like many generations of students being forbidden to do so. And so for the like also teachers like train like changing, uh, shifting from like strictly forbidding to okay in Wikipedia, why is it reliable? Why is it not? Like how to basically we wanted to like we understood that it was another problem to tackle and all this together we really wanted after like seven years of conducting an education program to find a tool that could match like the time like the autonomy and also uh, like how to demystify basically the the functioning of wikipedia the solutions were to explain the five pillars through a board game. So you may have seen the different icons uh, in my presentation. I will like tell, take you through all of these. Um, but the major reasons uh, of our uh, observations and understanding learnings from our education program was really we really wanted to find a resource, a tool that was like matching uh, something that was short, something that was easy to to use as like for teachers, but also for students. And uh, so, yeah, we 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 came up with this uh, pretty strange idea of a pedagogical board game. So, uh, as it is now, I, I will <clears throat> I will put the, um, my presentation on Meta, and you will be able to click uh, the the image on the left, and you will be able to access to the game that we created. So, the game is a print and play uh, board game. Uh, so, this is like the one that you can see on the table is a demonstration. There is like not a lot of them, only. Actually, this is the only one we have for the moment. <laughs> uh, I'm like uh, get, like bringing every like uh, everywhere with me for um, conferences and stuff, so you will be able to try this. So um, it's a print and play game that is uh, freely accessible on uh, Wikimedia Commons. Uh, it enables to to be played by one to six players originally. This version is accessible for like up to 12 players. It should uh, take more or less 15 minutes to be played like within a class. And it should be accessible from uh, 12 years old uh, and on. I've played it uh, with kids uh, who are struggling with school um, and uh, I've, I've played it also with, uh, with adults came, coming like in fairs and uh, just like it's also an interesting tool for facilitation but we'll talk about it in the Q&A uh, after, after we're going after playing the game. Um, so that was a lot of information, um, but basically, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna explain you the rules uh, in a minute. But like as you can see on this GIF, it's uh, a game that is that allows people to play on a on a abstract form of articles, and everyone is supposed to contribute to edit the like the like an actual Wikipedia article and the the goal of the of the game is to to well to write the, the best article possible to best possible article um, and for that you will have to like put cards uh, that have different uh, symbols don't hesitate to stop me if the if things are getting complicated <laughs> But basically, I think there is. Uh, is there another mic so I can? Thank you. So, um, as I was explaining you, uh, the game is supposed to explain the five pillars. So here you have the fi the first pillar that is explaining that uh, Wikipedia is a gathering on, of information. So you're gonna have uh, the. Um, pair 
of information explained by um, a puzzle piece matching to the source of information that is represented by a document. You have three of them. On an article, you will have many, many more, but the idea is to explain that an information is correct only if it is sourced, if it, if it matches with a source of information. Then um, another pillar is to explain that um, we're trying to have objective information on, the, on, on Wikipedia. So then again, to, have, to mark some points, you will have to have, we, you will have uh, to gather as many, um, like to balance information, so have to, to have as many orange, as many violet. <laughs> Um, points of view. Um, and then I'm, I'm uh, missing the other, like the, the, the correct order in, in the five pillars, but you get the idea. Another interesting uh, point is to show how collective um, the, the, the editing of Wikipedia is by playing all together. And since uh, <coughs> it's not a competitive game, like the idea is like to bring us all together and and uh, and win all together. There is no winning over another player, but really uh, winning together. And <coughs> uh, okay, so yeah. Um, also, the idea is to show wikification. I don't know if this is okay, the right term. Um, the wikification of information and. Uh, is uh, represented by this hexagon, and the idea is to like match them, match them all together. Also, you will have to try to make as few mistakes as possible, as possible, um, because like ev like this is making like one point, one point, four points, and this is making you lose one point. So I'm part of the people who cannot actually understand a game without playing. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask uh, the, some uh, volunteers to come. I want to see if, um, yeah. I think the best way is for a few of you to come and join me and try to play the game. Okay, I need uh, 12 participants. Don't be shy, please. <laughs> yes, everyone. Who edited it the best? Yeah, let's call you one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ivana definitely. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. 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 You start. Then I have news. So you're gonna be like the first editor of the okay. testicle. Like, uh, congratulations. The idea is to uh, edit. So like. Just basically to put uh, a card on the on the plate. Okay. You can go, and then uh, I'll, I'll explain what's happening. So I can put the card anywhere on the anywhere, plate. Anywhere, like anywhere within this frame. Okay. Anywhere within the frame. Yeah. I'm usually spending a lot. <laughs> so here you put the, the like one uh, point of view and one information, but there is no source. So we're gonna ask. Uh, we're gonna go clockwise. So I guess you're right. Yes. No. Clockwise. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, clockwise. Okay. And you're gonna actually uh, cover uh, like cards with all the cards. Okay. I mean, oh, okay. Okay. oh, okay. oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Because I am actually I'm so uh, to play you can either like put a card here or uh, withdraw a card and like pick another one. No, I need to say to put on top of others, not you cannot show. Oh, okay, it's fine. I can show. You can you can actually show. We're we're playing like it's the first uh, game, so we can actually show our cards. So I can like so you, like, so she needs to find the the paper, the the blue one. Yeah. Really? Everyone like all together, oh, okay. we're we're gonna need. And if we don't have it, and then we just put another one. No, no, no. One. Like you can, it's it's okay because like everyone is playing, and we have all the time oh, needed yeah. like to, to to complete the game. Okay. I can okay. do this. Yeah. Perfect. And don't forget to to take your cards. So finish. Yeah, draw. So we have always cards. Okay. So you need to draw cards. Yeah, you need to replenish your hand. Basically. Always, always oh. having three. Always. All right. Three. I spent a lot of time writing on. Airports and there's more like stops in and start classes. Okay, so now that we're like completing the game, we can see that okay, it's pretty imbalanced. There is obviously a point chosen here, um, and we're gonna have to balance everything like to and adding more orange. So this is uh, this comes at the end, and the idea is like uh, I don't know like this is written in French, but I, I guess in English or in English language you're gonna have another evaluation, and this is from the start of an article in French it's in English to the quality <coughs> article, and so it's gonna be at the end like uh, counting all the points and like grading from beginning to. So what happens if I put here? You can do this. Yeah. Now we have balance points of view. Yeah. Okay. Just like this is well put in, but you can actually also. Don't forget to draw a card. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, right, right. And also, like you can put it here, but you can actually also correct. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Or also like. Uh, if there's something missing, can we do like with another perspective? There is like I don't yeah. know what. I like see. for instance, but I'm not gonna put this here. But you can also like also correct. Something's correct. Then I think there's actually more I, know this song. I think we have too much knowledge, <laughs> so, so so we're kind of like using cheat mode. <laughs> Okay, uh, whose turn? I think like, um, need something yellow. <laughs> <laughs> or cover something out of the chat. Maybe, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, put a simple vision on a one of our source. Yeah. <laughs> our source oh, that, that's gonna be good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have to get rid of no, the one. One. Yeah. Perfect. I'm adding another difficulty. So you have corrected the article, but doing so, you've raised like uh, the how do you say the level of contribution of addition. So this uh, means uh, I don't know the terms in English, but you know when everything like uh, when you have a conflictual article and everyone is mm. yes. editing at the same time at a certain point. Yeah. We're uh, blocking and stopping uh, editions. Oh, protection. Yeah, protection. Exactly. 
we're protecting the articles. So the idea is to show that every time a symbol is covered by another symbol, an icon, well, this, yeah, this oh, is racist. So, for instance, if this happens, it's not moving. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Can you just also tell us what this symbol is? This symbol means the wikification. So, what if... Exactly. You, can, you can explain. You can explain. I forgot to explain also, but... Um, I'm sorry, I, Viola, you, you helped me. Uh, you actually did the whole... Uh, con uh, Translation <laughs> in Albanian. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, I met Mathilde one time in one, one of those LGBT um, meetings online with Elisa and so much. And she was presenting their work. I found, I found it really fascinating. And I was like thinking, and it just like it stuck in my mind. Like, it will be a moment when I will um, have uh, an image to translate it. Then I got in contact with Lisa because I didn't know uh, Matisse's um, email and then, and then I just like, I asked her, could you please give me share the link with me so I really want to translate that. I have translated that in Albanian, or you guys helped me with um, um, figuring out like, the, the visual parts in Albanian and, uh, and then we also um, Translated the video. Oh, she nice. helped me with like the text, and then uh, translated that with the titles, keeping the French audio and with the titles in all the other languages. That's nice. why. Thank you for that. No. 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 Yeah, you referred to the wrong version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You can do it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't cover it, yeah. because I didn't really explain the, yeah, for instance, so you, you will have to raise the, so um, now that the, the, the foundation are, are uh, set, I am going to explain also how to count the points. Uh, this is a point, so a pair of different colors of eye makes a point, an information validates um, a source of information validates all the, um, the informations. So you have two points here, but like no points for the blue one because it's not sourced. Mm. This is, um, uh, it's gonna be four points when it's gonna be complete, complete, uh, completed. Completed, thanks. <laughs> and this um, puts uh, points of so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five oh, less, so. yeah, oh, minus five. five. Oh. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. So we have to cover those. Exactly. Um, can we cover it? Yeah. Yes. Don't forget to raise the, yeah. And then we raise. Exactly. So it, for, for information, the, um, uh, the game starts when we arrive to, when we reach 20. Exactly. It's fine. It's okay. just to show to show students that like you cannot ever like it's okay to make mistakes because like we're playing all together and like eventually someone will correct the 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 mistake. Mm -hmm, exactly. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's not moving because it's the same icon. Yeah. Also, 
you, you're, you're uh, gonna understand like how it's working. Also, uh, the rules can change. Uh, like, just just like on Wikipedia, there are like not a lot of rules. <laughs> and like all together, we can actually comment on the the additions that have been made, and also like try to mm, maybe I would have done this, like and, and stuff. Yeah. So the, the like behind the scenes engagement. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <Yay. laughs> <laughs> No, we don't move. We don't move because yeah. it just yeah. completes yeah. the circle. Exactly. Yeah. You just remove the, the erroneous. Also, I didn't really explain earlier, but you can, for instance. <laughs> Turn the cards so like you can exactly for instance and also I, I usually like have my habits and uh, put the source of sources in the corners so like they are untouchable. But you can also can't like touch our it's interesting to understand like uh, the um, the trick of like uh, is it better like to cover a mistake like or counting the points yeah exactly. so now it's published do we let it go out with the mistake <laughs> when fixing it means and also it, it's like okay but I'm adding a point of view <coughs> while like correcting a mistake. Oh, yeah. oh right, you're right. Can I cover this? Yeah. yeah. How many how many oranges do we have and how many do we have? Oranges are like here. Okay. Uh and seven yeah, yeah, this is very five. The blue is out. So you have a blue is. Which one is that? Yeah, these, these are all are the blue. These are. Yeah, the is is the source. Okay, who's turn? Oh, you my turn. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
could be like, you have an info box, a summary, and an image, for instance. Mm -hmm. You can explain like the way you want to, to your project. Uh, maybe I should put this where it can be easy. Yeah. So do we have balanced, uh, balanced the points of view now? You don't. You don't have like. You can like, also uh, withdraw a card. Uh, withdraw like trash a card. Withdraw. You can. If your if your cards are getting. <laughs> okay. You can. You can also. There is, there is, you don't need, you don't need more than a, except, except you don't need more than a source. One source of information like validates all the matching. And it's, yeah. It's over. Yeah. So now we have to count the, um, the the points to understand like which level of article we we've reached. Uh, so I'm gonna like come this way. So I'm gonna ask you to count the um, the orange uh, eyes, and I'm gonna ask you to count the purple. Okay. Okay. So it's a little unbalanced, but it's fine, and we're reaching 13 points. Two, get six, this two, thirteen. It sounds like I'm doing a uh, like conducting a bingo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now we have uh, three uh, with wikification. Uh, it's for each, so we have 12 points. Donc, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21. And I forgot how, like, at all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Uh, now we are going to count uh, the information that are sourced. Like, we have all sources of information, and even one more, but only. Yeah, we, we just like only one source is required like to, to make uh, um, the information count. Um, so I'm gonna ask you to count the green, you to count the yellow, and you to count the, um, the blue. Yeah, five blue. So five blue. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, cinq. We have seven green. Three, alors, un, deux, trois, yeah. And un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept. Wow. But we're losing three points because we we left some ah a few well, a few mistakes. So we've reached a good article. We were this close to the quality article, but you know it's our first game. So well, uh, congratulations to all. Of you. And thank you all for playing. I hope you had fun. Okay. <laughs> so, thanks for asking the question. <laughs> wow. Congratulations, thank you for the treats. Uh, so, um, Armin, Armin yeah. you, you were asking me the question of like what this is. So, 
the game is as simple as it is, but you can actually ch like challenge your public with another like with other tricks. You can choose you can choose different topics uh, on the that, that is going to make the game a little more tricky. For instance, you're gonna have the, the scientific topic. And whoops, it's gonna mean that um, a mistake is gonna be uh, two, like it's gonna worth two minus points. So in this kind of topic, you're gonna really in emphasize on like trying to correct as many mistakes as possible. You're gonna have, um, I can't translate this. <laughs> Um, okay, you're gonna have a new topic. It's gonna mean that you you cannot withdraw cards, and you're gonna have to play your cards. Uh, a political uh, topic. So it's gonna mean the unbalanced uh, points of view are gonna make you lose more points, uh, and so on and so on. So it doesn't exist also on this version. Uh, thanks. Uh, but you're gonna also have other uh, cards. No, it's not written. So you can see here. So you have the contribution cards that we played with, the topic cards, but also the um, profile. Yeah, exactly. Profile cards. And it's, yeah, exactly. So it's trying to represent the diversity of the con of the contrib of the editors of the community. So it's going to allow you to, to have some powers uh, on, um, on, the, on the game. For instance, the administrator, uh, it's going to be the, uh, you can actually modify and create up to three roles during the, part, the game. Um, you're going to have, I can't translate the name either because I don't know them all by heart, but you're going to have a card that is going to allow you to play outside of the of the of the frame, you can actually also have like these kind of tricks, and so on and so on. Um, so I guess now I don't have, I don't know how long I still have. Okay. Um, so now it's time for Q and A. If you if you're done with the with the game, I I, I don't think we have time for another <laughs> game. But really, thank you for, for participating. Harry? Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna explain it. She has a question, how do you get that? Yeah, I think I, I mean, I also, also asked, I'm, I'm gonna try to explain. Okay. So, um, my presentation is going to be accessible, uh, maybe, je sais pas. Ah, Mathieu Mathieu, est-ce que tu peux prendre le micro et le passer aux gens qui ont posé des questions STP. Merci. So, um, so uh, I've been asked how you guys can access to, to, the, to the print and, uh, print and play game. Um, so this presentation is going to be accessible on um, on the meta page, and this image, if you click on it, you will be able to access to the to the to the Wikimedia Commons uh, article, and you will be able to access to the PDF. Uh, so this is uh, in French. There is also an Albanian version existing. Uh, also, we just had like we we we've just been delivered this small version of the game. So it's just the cards. It's super super. It's pretty cute. And you have like these little cards, and just like a, um, a medicine box. It's like the the rules. And also, like the medication instruction that you that you generally cannot <laughs> get out of the box, and you will find the rules on one part, and the plate on the other part. Um, there is also a digital version uh, that I wanted to 
show you guys today, but I don't think it's gonna. I, I, I'm gonna waste time like finding it. So I'm gonna try to make it accessible on Meta too afterwards. But the, um, the digital version enables will enable you as a program uh, like education program manager or uh, project manager uh, for teacher training because you cannot like move around all, like as many classes as you want or like actually reach out to the to the teachers you will you will you will want to train and the digital version is meant to ease the the, the training like like to explain uh, the game okay i think i have 5 minutes left for questions so if you guys have any question about the game please feel free or I guess it's going to be more time for a change of, uh, of workshops. But really, thank you. Ah, Lisa. <laughs> um, so, oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so you, you were explaining, Mathilde, you, you've been going to schools and working with uh, teachers and students directly. I'm curious to know if what has been like the most surprising like change or, or perspective that you have seen from the students or from the teachers after they play, they play the game? After is complicated to say, but during the game, I was really like, uh, amazed to see how interactive the game was. Like you can actually like, we're uh, especially we're trying to launch a project, a long-term project with a, an organization that is specialized on uh, kids who are like uh, uh, getting away from school, basically. And so it's a, a difficult uh, audience, and they were like uh, skeptical about the game first, and then they were actually playing it and like commenting on uh, the other's contribution and really willing to, to win all together. So I find this really interesting. Like, I don't say it's the best game and I'm pretty sure it can be, um, it can get better, like through our, like we're a community. So this can be helpful like for, for it to, to be better. Uh, but it's interesting. The way it's been designed um, by a special, specialized uh, firm, by the way, uh, it's the it's the benefits of this game, I think. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, uh, we're two minutes to go, so I guess. Okay. I can... Any more questions? How much does it cost to print like the, the placemats ah. and, and such? So uh, this, uh, the game you've played with is like, it's the only version we have and I think it's around, it's, it's a little expensive, uh, I think it's around 200 euros. Ah, I forgot to tell you, so this little game uh, is 10 euros worth and I'm going to leave a, a note so you can actually write, write your uh, email address if you're interested in pre-ordering it, or just to have some more information about the like uh, the, the news of the game, and uh, yeah, otherwise the game, as as I, I was telling you from the start, is uh, print and play, so you can actually have it like freely, and uh, then it's yeah just um, printing it out. Uh, it can also be uh, uh, black and white because you have numbers on it. And it's also, um, for your information, just uh, color blind friendly. So all of the colors are um, are reading for color blind people. There is another question. What if you want to create a regional version of this? Who has like? Are there any kind of rights placed on this? Like, how can we create a copy or probably a translated version of this? Um, we're thinking like um, we're thinking of transla translating it in English uh, with our game designer. So it's going to come before the summer, I think. And then maybe, Viola, you can, you can actually answer. I 
So based on my experience, it's just like uh, I use Google Translate. I translated that from French to English because I'm better at English. And, but I also understand a little bit of uh, French, especially when I see that written. And, and afterwards, after I had it all in Albanian language, I asked a friend of mine, she speaks great French, and she just did the general edits for me. And then I added that for myself, and that's it. Thank you for uh, the experience sharing. Okay, so I guess it's... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you for listening and participating to the game.